Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Analog.com. Today I'm looking at the Acer Aspire S3, another Ultrabook. I've looked at the HP Folio, the Asus Zenbook, and now I'm looking at the Acer alternative. Um, now, I must say that this is another, again, another thin um, Ultrabook. It's very thin, very light, weighs 1.4 kilos, and is 13 mil thick or thin. Um, and very light. It feels it feels a bit lighter than the other ones. Um, this one is 13 inches wide, like the, uh, the screen. Sorry, is 13 inch. And you've also got a 1366 by 768 resolution, so the picture is quite clear. Um, really, no issues on the uh, on the LED LCD screen you've got here as well. Um, this model I've got is the Core i5 version. Uh, runs Windows 7, 64 bit, as you'd expect. Um, this one has 4 gig of RAM, a 250 gig solid state drive, um, plenty of power, it felt quite good. The battery is, is a 3 cell battery and it, I didn't get as good a battery performance as the ASUS. Um, I, I managed to get about 5 hours, about five, I'd say 5.5 hours of battery life out of it. That's running at full high performance on the Wi-Fi, browsing the internet, you know, really working it. Um, you know I, know, I know I could stretch it out to more if I wanted to by turning the brightness down and doing other battery saving exercises, but not what I wanted to do. That's just how I use my laptop. So um, about five and a half hours, which is pretty good, I think. You know, for something which is so thin. Um, on the front, probably one of the, my favorite things of this um, net, of this ultrabook, nearly said netbook, um, is the uh, is the webcam. I mean, I'm, I'm so sick of seeing crappy. Ultrabooks, which are coming out, or even laptops, which are coming out with poor webcams. I mean, these are for travelers. These are for people who need these webcams when they're video chatting or doing video blogs or anything like that. Um, 1.3 megapixel can do 720p video. Thank you, uh, thank you for doing that, Acer. It's uh, it's it's good to see. Um, it's not the it's still not the best webcam I've ever seen. Um, you know, it's quite slow. Like so when you wave your hand, it's quite cloudy still. But the quality of the image is really, really good. Even if you're using it just for taking photos, for self-portraits of yourself, um, still really, really good quality camera. So probably the best camera I've seen on an Ultrabook. Um, so I'm very impressed by that. So that was great. Now on the back, I'll just close this. On the back of the uh, of the Ultrabook, the power in for the charger, which is on the back, not on the side like some others. Um, a full-size HDMI port, so you can go straight. Unplug your Blu-ray player, plug it straight into your uh, into your Ultrabook, and be looking at your screen on the uh, on your TV, which is awesome. Um, two USB two ports, not a USB three. Yeah, I can live with that. Um, and on the left-hand side, just the headphone microphone jack, um, nothing else. And on the other side, you've got the uh, two-in-one card reader slot, SD and MMC slot. Um, on the front, completely clean. There's nothing to see there. Um, on the bottom, just to give you a quick look at it, looks pretty plain, just the stickers and whatnot. Um, I will say that this does get a little bit warm. Um, when I did use it, it got a bit too hot for me to just leave on my lap the whole time. Um, I didn't get that, that cooling feeling that I usually get from some of the other ones. Um, but, it, you know, not too bad. Not too bad, just a little too warm for me. Um, the speakers, it runs Dolby, um, Dolby, how do I say it exactly? Dolby Home Theatre speakers um, and sound. The sound quality is a lot better than um, you get out of a generic laptop without any sort of sound enhancers. And I thought it did a pretty good job of it as well. Um, you know, even when you turn it up loud, it didn't sound like it was going to distort. It didn't sound too tinny. You know, it doesn't sound like ding ding ding. ding. It doesn't sound too bad. Um, other things I can tell you about it: Wi-Fi, of course, Bluetooth 4, which is good. Um, boot times. Let's, let me turn it on for you now, so you can see just how. Quick, it does boot, power on. Um, when I tested it before, I got about 30 seconds um, from a cold boot. This is not from standby, this is from nothing. Um, and when you're responding from standby, just by opening the lid, hitting the power button, about one and a half seconds, two seconds maximum, which is awesome. And you know what the best thing to do is, if you're gonna use this on the couch or you're gonna carry it around a lot, just put it into standby and you'll get so much life out of it still. You don't have to wait this 30 seconds. Now with that said, 30 seconds really isn't that bad, um, but one and a half seconds is great. So living in standby really isn't an issue at all. Um, other things I can tell you about this Ultrabook is, 
all the graphics. It's got an Intel HD 3000 graphics card in it. Um, regardless of which model you buy, that's the standard graphics card on it. That's the one which comes with it. You can upgrade the processor, you can change the hard drive and uh, and RAM specifications, but the graphics card remains. So, you know, in saying that, it, people probably aren't buying Ultrabooks for gaming, but it's probably not going to be a terrible machine to play a couple of games on anyway. Um, other things I can tell you about it, running through the actual thing, you know, the ones, my only beef with this is, is the, the keyboard's not too bad. Okay, let's let's let, let's be a bit more a bit more honest about it. Because I used the the Asus ZenBook beforehand, you know, a lot more metal finishes. It felt really really strong and a beautiful gloss. This has a lot more plastic on it. The keyboard is very plasticky. The the, the chiclet keyboard is. Um, the layout of the keyboard and the and the touchpad much better positioning than the Asus. It's just the quality doesn't feel like it's there like I did on the on the Asus. Um, I, I enjoyed using it and it felt fine. I just worry that over time that this looks like it could break a lot easier than the uh, than the ZenBook could. Um, the touchpad it's a little bit smaller than the ZenBook, which I like. Um, it I wasn't multi-touching all over the place accidentally. Um, it still has the integrated um, keys, which I'm not a huge fan of. I would still like to see a line or a divide because I, I found too often that I would hold hold my thumb over the uh, over the click and as I try and scroll I'm actually multi-touching by doing that and that's just it just makes me angry because I'll be just browsing a website and all of a sudden I'm looking at really huge text and things like that and it's like oh crap I'm zoomed in without knowing that's I think that's just something I get used to but my personal preference oh can't forget the uh, the one check I always do with the charger too big too big Acer Take a look at the Asus ZenBook, much better. Take a look at the MacBook Air, much better. Um, I, you got to keep them small. You got to keep them small. You're going to give me a, you know, an ultrabook this thin, and then stack it on top of a charger this thick. Nah, too much. So other than that, that's all I've got. Um, not really sure what else to tell you about it. If you do have any questions, though, let me know. I uh, probably can answer them for you. If I can't, I'll uh, I'll ask someone who can, and we'll go from there. Uh, oh, now that this is in standby. Let me open it up and I can show you what it takes to bring it back. Oh, we're back. That was it. Sorry, that's how quick it is, literally. Um, okay, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please, please let me know. Um, do I look a little bit red? I went to the beach this weekend and got too much sun, so I'm pretty burnt. Can't put makeup on because I don't like wearing makeup. And just can't be bothered hiding it, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Speak soon. Bye.